Hey everyone, it's me Ram here. Welcome to the tutorial series based on Arduino and Raspberry Pi. Every week, I will be posting a video or a two based on the projects that I attend in Arduino or a Raspberry Pi. Let's begin with today's tutorial. Today's tutorial is all about controlling our home appliances with our voice commands with and with the help of a Bluetooth module called HC05. Now let's look into the components that we use in this project. The HC05 is the Bluetooth module that is interfaced with Arduino and it is very cheapest and efficient Bluetooth module. The Bluetooth shield is made by us to conveniently fix my Arduino and HC05 module. Here I am using Arduino Uno. Since Arduino Uno has 20 digital input or output pins, I can control 20 of my home appliances with this single Arduino board. Next is relay circuit. I will explain the relay circuit later and now I will explain how to connect my Arduino with the Bluetooth shield and HC05 module. Now let's look through the relay circuit. The relay circuit consists of a switch, a relay and a ULN driver. First, the relay has 5 pins. NO normally open, COM common and NC normally connected with 2 coil pins, coil 1 and coil 2. The common and normally connected is always connected together until the coils gets energized. Whenever the coils gets energized, magnet link is created inside the relay and so the common switch get attracted towards the NO pin so that the connection gets closed between the switch and the relay. Now let's look through the ULN driver. The ULN driver is used to deliver plus 12 volts with maximum of output of 500 milliamps current. Uh, the input to ULN driver is plus 5 volts and it is given to given through pins 1, 9, 1 to 7 and the corresponding output of uh, plus 12 volts is taken from pins 16 to 10. The 9th pin of the ULN driver is connected to plus 12 volts and the 8th pin is commonly gone. Now the Arduino supplies plus 5 volts to pin 1. Pin 16 delivers plus 12 volts. The coil, both the coils gets energized and so the common pin is getting attracted towards the NO pin. The connection between the switch and relay closes that is the equipment that is connected with the switch gets turned on. And here the string voice string is the string that uh, stores the transferred uh, data from mobile application to Arduino that is the words you speak is stored in the string called voice string. These are the statements that I use often to tell my Arduino to turn on or off my home appliances. You can rewrite any possible statements to on or off your appliances that you use and here you can change these statements as per your wish as per your convenience also. I just gave example to turn on or off my fan and lights here. If you see here there are three statements to turn on my light and three statements to turn off my light. Likewise to turn on my fan and uh, to turn off my fan I had given some 6 statements and for uh, turning on both my fans and lights I had given 3 statements and to turn off them I had given 3 statements and the final statement is the statement that I used to tell to my Arduino every night that is good night Tesla it just turns off the lights and switches on the fan so that I can sleep well and let's enter into the white setup loop in this loop I just began the serial communication by using the statement serial.begin 9600. 9600 is nothing but the baud rate. Baud rate means the number of bytes transmitted per second. And here uh, it should be noted that both communicating devices should have same baud rate. 
if we, if there is no particular baud rate for both communicating devices and if the baud rate uh, mismatches for both communicating devices you will receive some garbage value and not a proper value and the next two lines is nothing but i am defining my pins digital pins 2 and digital pin 3 that corresponds to light and fan as an output pin let's enter the void loop now this is the loop where my Arduino reads the string character by character that we speak out from the mobile application and then it stores the same in the string called voice string. Voice string contains the string that we speak out and then it is checked with the other strings that we defined it before in this program. So let's make sure that the string is not a null string. These statements are used to check whether the string that we receive from mobile application to Arduino is equal to the strings that we defined it previously in the program. Both the strings are compared with one another without checking the case sensitive. As I said I use light 1, light 2, light 3 these three strings to turn on my light and uh, light 4, light 5, light 6 to turn off them and also fan 1, fan 2, fan 3 to turn on my fan and uh, fan 4, fan 5, fan 6 strings to turn off them. In case I need to turn on both my fans and lights I used to uh, strings fl1 fl2 fl3 and to turn off both of them i used fl4 fl5 and fl6 and at last when i go to my bed i just use these words good night tesla and this is stored as gd to turn off my light and to turn off my fan to make my room a little bit cooler finally i assign my voice string to be a null string once again the loop continues and then waits for another command to be spelled out and once we spelled out the command the Arduino does the same process as I explained here now. Let's upload the code and see what's happening. This is how I connected my Bluetooth shield with my Arduino and uh, SC05 along with the uh, relay circuit. Now we can speak with our Arduino right? and uh, we can turn on or turn off any appliance of our home. To connect with the SC05 module we have to click and connect robot and you have to search for HC05 and yeah here it's now connecting connecting ah uh, yeah it's connected to HC05 module so now we it is, we can speak with our Arduino right now let's begin Tesla please turn on the fan the fan gets turned on and now another command to turn off the fan now let's say the command to turn off the fan for that, turn off the fan Tesla. 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 Turn off the fan